Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In uh, this Compose video, I will show you how you can actually style your text in Compose because we have quite more possibilities in Compose when it comes to text styling than we had with XML. So to start, I just want to wrap my text here into a box because I want to give my app a background color. So we set the modifier of that box to modifier.fillmax size and a background and I'll set it to, let's format that a little bit. I'll set it to 0xff just to indicate we have a hexadecimal color here. And we also need to put that into color like this and import color pressing Alt plus Enter from Compose UI Graphics. And after 0xff, we can then specify our hex code. So in my case, that's just a dark gray 101010. You can see that here. And then inside of our box, we will have our actual text. So that is nothing different here, as you already know. For the text, I will choose Jetpack Compose. And now let's see how we can actually style the text and make it look really cool. So on the one hand, of course, the default text color is black. We have a black text here on a dark gray background. Uh, that is bad. We want to change the text color. So we simply use the color here, the color parameter, and set it to white in our case. Then we could change the font size, for example, by using font size and setting it to 30SP, for example, which is also nothing new. I think I used these two parameters in the last video where we designed the image card. But everything that follows now is actually new. So how about we start changing the font itself? So we don't want to use the default font. Instead, we want to use our own downloaded font. For that, I went to fonts.google.com, where you can just use any font you like for your app. I will use this Lex and font, which looks decent in my opinion. So we click on that. And now we can choose the styles of that font. So the different thicknesses that we want to use in our app. If you want all of those, you can simply also click on download family here. And then it will just download all of those. I already did this here. As you can see, so these files are actually the files we're interested in. We will select all of those and make sure if you import these into Android Studio that these are actually all in lowercase and the dashes are replaced with underscores because that is the naming convention for resource files Android Studio uses. So just like I did here, I press Control C to copy those. And in Android Studio, we want to go to our RAS folder, right click new Android resource directory resource type will be font. Click OK. And in that new font folder, we press Ctrl V to paste these fonts we just copied. And as you can see, here are those. And these fonts together make up a so-called font family. So these different weight levels of the same font. And that is what we now need to create in our Kotlin code to just define which font we have on the one hand, and also which different weight levels we have. So for example, light, bold, regular, and so on. And for that, I will just go inside of uncreate here for our needs. And here I will create a val font family and set that to new font family. And you can see here, we can just put, a, put in a list of fonts, which we will actually do. So we can just list our fonts here, which we can create with font that consists of a resource ID. So let's start with r.font.lexandthin, which is, well, the thinnest font here. And we can set the weight of that font to fontweight.thin. And you could also choose a style for that font, which I won't do right now. Then we can duplicate that line with Control D. Do this with lex and light, which is the next level replace this with light, and so on. So I will now do this with the remaining fonts, and then I'll see you back. So there we go. I added all of these fonts, and I hope you did too. 
So now we can go back to our text here and actually assign a font family and just set that to our font family we declared above. And let's now try it out, launch our app and take our emulator here. And you can see we have a dark background with our white font and that is also the font we chose. So that's not the default font. So if you would like to change the font weight, we can do this with font weight and set it to font weight dot bold, for example. We could, for example, use the font style to make it um, italic. So font style dot italic. We could change the text align and set it to center, for example, to just center the text in its container. So it's basically just Microsoft Word here, as you can see. Um, that's super simple to change these font, font values and font styles. But that was also fairly simple in XML, actually. Something that was not that easy in XML was the text decoration, which we could set here, for example, to strike through, um, or is it text decoration, line through or underline or whatever. Um, I don't think that was possible in XML. We needed to actually do that in Kotlin back then. But the actual improvement here for text stylings in Compose are so-called annotated strings. Um, so we cannot only pass a string here for the text parameter. Instead, we can also pass a so-called annotated string. And with that, we can basically apply different styles to different parts of our string, of our text. And that was possible before in Android, of course, but it wasn't really convenient. Now we have a really cool builder for those annotated strings, and you will see how easy that is. So instead of setting that to Jetpack Compose, we will set it to build annotated string. And that is a function that gives us a scope of annotated string builder. So you might already know string builders. This works very similar here. So we could just call append here and actually it formats that pretty weirdly here. Um, whatever. Um, we can call append here to just append a character or just a string. So we can basically construct our very own string here and we can apply different styles to different sections of our string. So instead of using append here, I will use with style and that allows us to give this section that we specify here our individual style. So here we can set the style equal to a new span style. And in the span style, we can now define a normal text style, how this part of that string will look like. So we can set the color to color.green, for example. We could increase the font size to 50 SP. You could change the font weight, um, the font family, whatever you want. I'll leave it for I'll leave it like that right now. And after that, with a style block here, these parentheses, we open curly brackets. And now I will format this so it will look a little better. And here in these curly brackets, we can now use append to append the section of our string we actually want to apply this style here for. So let's say we only want to apply this for the first letter, for our J. Then we use append J. And then after this with a style block, we can append our remaining letters so that these together make up a jetpack. But this J actually has this style, while this add pack here basically has this style, this default style. And let's also not forget the space here after jetpack and use another with style block, copy and paste this here. And I'll leave these settings like they are and just replace this with a C now. And after that with a style block, we append um, on pose basically, not compose, just on pose. And if we now launch the app and take a look, then we can see we have our underlined text and these first two letters of Jetpack and Compose are actually in green and much bigger than the other letters. And that is very cool in my opinion how we can now style individual sections of our text because that is much more convenient and easier than it was before. 
So that's actually everything I wanted to show you about textiles. Um, there's a little more, of course, that you can style here. I just recommend you to try around with these textiles and see what you can do with these. But the most important parameters I actually showed you here, and especially this annotated string builder is very cool. So I hope you liked this video. If so, please leave a like and comment below. If you're interested in more advanced Android courses, then check out the first link in this video's description. You will get to my website where you'll find Android premium courses that will bring your skills to the next level. I wish you an awesome day and I hope I see you in the next video again. Bye bye.